Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Well, hey, Nick Collier here, and uh, today we got this little mini project. Um, uh, it's very interesting. Uh, um, this guy shows up uh, with one of these fold-up rifles that you can put inside of your backpack. I mean, it, it couldn't have been this long once it was folded up. And... Uh, and it shoots magnum, 22 magnums. And what he wants to do, or what he's hoping to do, is to shoot 22 shorts. This long. Let me go out, bring you in close. And we're going to do both of them so you can see the difference in length and thickness. 22 magnum, 22 short. And uh, so there's a sleeve, and he bought this sleeve a while back and it didn't work. Um, and it's an old magnum casing just drilled out at the top. But uh, once he shot it four or five times, the casing expanded so much that it, you couldn't get it out of the gun. So what he wants to do is make this in uh, some high grade steel. And I'm, I've got a piece of uh, A2 over there that we're gonna work with. And we're going to go ahead and bore this out and then also at the same time uh, cut the out exterior and end up with a wall thickness of, oh, God, I, I don't know, 15 thousandths or something like that. So, um, hey, stick around. We're going to uh, start cutting. Okay, this is one of those rare times when you can actually take a... Uh, piece of material that's been trashed and uh, I don't know if you remember but uh, the uh, quad project here I did a while back where I drilled the case and made a little spacer for it uh, this this was one that didn't work I uh, actually ended up cutting this side to a little bit too small so um, it turns out that the uh, the magnum casing is just about exactly the length of this over here so we're going to just slide that in here and celebrate the fact that I can actually use a piece of steel a second time and uh, for another project. Uh, let's get it a little further away though. And not only that, but I believe that I'm all set up and ready to go. Come in close. And we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so we've got our hole drilled to fit the uh, the 22 short, and a nice, steady, good, solid fit it is. Uh, and uh, so now we've got to come in and trim this down to oh, I don't know what's the size, magnum size, which is. To 240, 240, and uh, short size is 225. So we've got 15 thousandths. 
Now that's going to make these walls very thin. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the drill bit that I used to drill this hole with, which was a number, number one drill, turn it around, and I've got myself a, a nice shaft to, to support this with, if I can get it in. There we go. All right, a little bit of oil on there will help. Now, the problem is, is that we're in really close. So that, that's not too bad. Okay, so remembering that we have, like, oh, this thing is going to get so thin. We are now at 305. Wait a second. There's three. We're at 281. And we need to go to 240. So if we take, I'm going to take it in 10 thousandths increments, 5 thousandths per side. Just because I know how thin this thing is. Let's see what that does. And we got a brand new insert in there. Let's see how it's gonna what's gonna act. Looking pretty good. Slide this out just a little bit. Pretty straight. And we're going to come in there and, and cut this off. Cut off tool is right here. And it looks like it might be just a bit wide, so we may have to slide it out a little further. But that's not too bad. Something like right about there. And is there a... Well, actually, yeah, we can do that. Okay, let's make sure that we're square up on the cutoff tool. There we are. All right, 
right, we're going to take it off right there. I don't know. That's got me worried. I mean, this whole thing is so fragile. I think I'm just going to come in with a hacksaw and take it off with a hacksaw. are sharp. Now where did my piece go? There it is. Okay, so far so good. And I think I'm going to take this over to the little lathe. It's a little bit easier to deal with and we can... Uh... Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think what I want to do is put something in there, put that drill bit in there and clamp it with the drill bit in so that it has something to kind of grip to. Um, let's see. We're going to take this out. Slide the drill bit in. Nice and snug. Good. Yeah, that'll work pretty well. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, now this is too big. Uh, let's take it over to the little lathe and, and finish this off. Okay, so we're going to take that little lip off. And uh, I've sharpened my bit. These high-speed bits, don't, they don't last at all with, uh, with this A2 stuff. But we may be able to get through this. I've... I've cut it, oh, I don't know. I made about six passes and had to resharpen it. And we're talking, you know, maybe five thousandths per pass. Maybe. And I can already feel the bits starting to get crusty again. All right, we might be down to where we want to be. I'm going to start chamfering this, see if I can just take it, take it in without causing too much trouble. Nah, it doesn't look like it. All right, so I'm noticing that we got just a little bit of a wiggle right in there. Just and uh, that's because we're sitting in this three jaw. And I want to get that out. Sometimes the wiggle, I can get the wiggle out mostly just by rotating my piece. Oh, that's much better. Much better. Okay, so we're going to snug that down right where it's at. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, let's rotate this bit and see if we can kind of knock that big edge off. There it goes.
We're going to rotate just a little further. I just chewed the bit up one more time. We're gonna go over and sharpen it. Yep, sure enough. All right, let's try it one more time. Yeah. keeps chewing that bit up. Let's try going the other way. All right, we're getting something there. sitting too high no wonder all right let's come down that's a little low somewhere in there probably oh that looks good Ah, there it goes. Okay. We're gonna just we'll knock off that edge of the file. Just to see where we're at. And I think we need to come in a little bit more. Yep. Bring it in just a tad more.
All right, I think that's just a bit thick, but I think we're going to be happy with that. We're going to take down this edge just a little bit. This inside edge. Now we got one little thing, last thing to do, and I'm going to show you what it is. This short needs to slide inside of there, which of course it isn't. Uh, I think it's just got a rough edge or something. What's going on? Oh, oh, I've got the drill bit in there. <laughs> okay, let's... Oh, I don't want to disconnect it, though. Hmm, I'm going to have to... Because the drill bit is in there almost all of the way. Let's uh, see if the bullet's going to fit. Well, I'm thinking that there's just a little bit of an edge in there or something. Yeah, I see it. We could probably get that out with a file. But what has to happen is this has to sit inside of the, the casing. So let's put this back in. Bring it up to about there. Pretty close. Nope. Wrong way. There it is, right there. All right, so what we need to do now is come in and bore this thing out just, just that little bit. Oh my God, I don't know how that's gonna work. So we've got 275, what's the size of this? Two eighty five, so ten thousandths. That's not going to go. We'll be back. We're going to go over and see if we can find a bit. Okay, well, uh, you know, we tried and uh, this little piece here, we blew out one corner, one section of it right in here. I mean, you know, we're down to seven thousandths, per, uh, seven thousandths wall, so uh, it's easy to blow out. So um, we had to start over again. And so I've taken this up to the place where we pretty much blew it out, and we can kind of go from this point on. We have, uh, instead of cutting it this way with the bullet top here, We've turned it around and cut it this way. And this, uh, this little um, mushroom out on the end here is uh, facing the, uh, the, the uh, chuck and the uh, tail stock. So, uh, and we're coming in, let me uh, swing it down and we'll see if we can uh, see this thing. Maybe over just a little bit. Okay, let's bring it in closer. There we go. Keep coming, keep coming. Let's come down just a little bit more. And can you see that? I'm thinking you can. Maybe just a little bit more down. Oh, look at that. Nice. All right, so. The only thing that's actually going to fit in here and cut is a cutoff tool. So I've taken my cutoff tool, I've sharpened the shit out of it, and now we're coming in and we're just trimming one little part at a time. Let's see what we've got here. What do we need? 
So we still got, oh, I don't know, a sixteenth to cut. So I don't think we have to worry too much at this point. Let's cut. And I'm, what am I taking? I might be taking five thousandths at a time. Two and a half per side. Now that's, that's not enough. Let's take this a little bit more. There we go. Now we're going to fight. Okay, so we've got our outside diameter and our shoulder almost perfect. And we've got lots of extra room. You can see the length here. So we can cut it off way back here and it'll work just fine. So now, uh, and I left the inside diameter small, so I had lots of strength here. Now we're going to come back. We're going to put a number one drill bit in here and drill it out and um, then I think we'll be almost done. Okay, let's see if we can punch through this thing without, uh, without blowing out a side. It's, so far, it's perfectly centered, perfectly. We haven't moved it, which is what we, the mistake we made last time. So uh, should, this should just drive right down the center and uh, we'd be all set. Okay, keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> that did it and I think we made it and we definitely didn't blow through yeah looks good okay let's pull this back Grab our 22 short, see if that'll slip in like a dream. Yep, I think it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, we're all set. We've got it. Uh, we slid the, uh, the um, uh, 22 um, casing in or the 22 short in there and of course now I can't get it back out but we'll we'll work with that later uh, so now we have to cut it off and cut it off is going to be a little bit iffy because this wall is about seven thousandths thick so I think what I'm going to do is come in with a grinder and just cut it right here with the grinder while this is spinning and just have this drop off and that way we get for one we get a nice clean finish and at the same time, we're not putting any pressure on it. So we're going to crank that up and uh, hang in there.
All right, that looks pretty good. Nice. We're going to go take it over to the uh, to the uh, sander and just sand that edge down a, a little bit and just to kind of kind of bring it back into square. And we will be done, I think. Okay, Nick Collier here, and uh, and we've got these or this one. Uh, completed. It's uh, it fits. It works. Everything everything you know. It didn't blow through like this other one here, uh, and uh, so we're going to throw that one away. And this one we're going to send to the customer, and uh, everybody will be happy. Hey, subscribe. We have fun here. We we just made a bullet uh, ad adapter, um, and tell your friends. And uh, hey, this is Nick Collier. Checking out.